Hey guys, how are you all? My name is Harshit Devedi, friends, and I welcome you back to my video. So in this video, friends, I will be discussing this theory of uniformitarianism in geology with you. This theory of uniformitarianism is very, very important, friends, because this is said to be the bedrock of geology. Okay, and this was in, you know, stark opposition to the theory of catastrophism. So first we are going to understand what this catastrophism is and then we'll come on to this theory of uniformitarianism. So this is presented by me, Harshit Devadi friends. If you want to follow me, the link of my Instagram handle is given in the description box below. Also, this video is in English friends. If you want to watch the Hindi version of the video, its link is also given in the description box below. So there was a scholar of University of Cambridge named as William Wehel. He termed this, he introduced this term uniformitarianism in 1832. But before going on to uniformitarianism, first let us have this look at this catastrophism. Okay, now before 1832, there was a view prevalent and that view said that this catastrophism view, it said and actually that was a biblical view. Okay, so biblical view, that is Christian view, that is religious scholars view, that is, you know, view that was propounded by the religious elements of the society. So that view said that whatever the earth is at present, the earth which we are seeing at present around us this was basically due to some supernatural and catastrophic events that happened at the creation of the earth but now those events are not happening and after the earth was created earth has remained unchanged so this was the view propounded by them that some supernatural catastrophic events happened because of this the earth you know happened to be like this and now those events are not happening now the earth is not changing this was the view which was given by this theory of catastrophism okay now let us have a general thought friends whatever things which are surrounding us they are changing at separate speeds different speeds for example friends if we are living in a coastal area we can see that the shoreline is changing after a year you know some places it is changing some places it is constant it depends on place to place so at many places you will see that the shoreline is changing it may change in a year also it may change in a six months also it may change in a period of five years also so the changes will be very stark in thousand years or you can say in millions of years so this is needs to be understood friends similarly the same changes are not very starkly evident in the continental parts of areas you know, in the continental part, in the interior areas of continents, the changes are not very stark, friends. They are very, very gradual, very, very slow. Okay. Also, the rivers that we are flowing, you know, in our lifetime, we see that the river is flowing like this. But actually, <clears throat> over thousands of years, the flow of river is also changing. Okay. So, before 1830, the view of the society was very much conventional and it depended on the interpretation of the religious heads, the religious figures. And that is why in the Greek society it was said that earthquakes came because God Poseidon was angry and he was expressing his wrath through these earthquakes. Now why the Greek people believed this? The reason was that friends actually earthquakes didn't have any predictability. They came at any time and the people at that point of time they had absolutely no idea about the science behind earthquakes they didn't know what plate tectonics is what is this friends the plates are you know striking each other fault is happening earthquakes are coming they didn't know anything so obviously they will say that the god is doing all these things because this thing was against you know beyond their understanding okay then there are many more views for example <clears throat> the navajo view processes said that whatever is happening on the surface it is because of interaction between the two opposite but complementary entities that is the sky and earth so whatever the sky and earth they are interacting among themselves and that is why all the things are happening on the surface of the earth. Okay, so mostly the 17th century European Christians said that this earth is completely unchanged since the time it has been created. And this was the religious view and people used to follow religion friends at that point of time in the society. Only two things were dominant. Dominant, the king was dominant and the church was dominant. So king absolutely had no scientific thinking. So obviously people are going to use ask the religious figures and religious figures also didn't have an answer because they were they were actually also zero on science so they said okay god is responsible for this thing and people said yes okay then after some time some marine creatures fossils were found in the alps mountain now this thing very much befuddled the scientists at that point of time they said that how can these marine creatures comes in alps so they actually you know deciphered it because you know according to the sayings of the old testament religious text they said 
that some biblical Noah's floods came and that is why these perch fossils are found in the Alps. So these type of reasoning were given at that point of time which was not at all proper. And then came the theory of uniformitarianism. So before getting to this theory friends, Actually, this theory is fundamental to geological thinking and the whole development of the science of geology is because of this theory only. You can say this. And this was very for the very first time being observed by Scottish physician whose name was James Hutton, friends. Okay, so before coming on to the definition of uniformitarianism, let's see what James Hutton did. James Hutton started <coughs> challenging the in literal interpretation of the Bible. He's saying that whatever this Bible is saying, the Bible is saying that the things are not changing. You know, the earth that is present today is because of the supernatural and catastrophic events that happened initially. And the earth is not changing now. So, Hutton was not agree to abide by this view process. And that is why he started making detailed observations of the rivers, rivers which were near his home. Okay. Now, he would see that these rivers are depositing a fine layer of sediment in the flood plain every year. So, small amounts of sediments are being bought by these rivers and deposited in the flood plains. Now, James Thutton thought, he said that if in one year this small amount of sediments are being bought by this river, how much amount of sediments will be bought by these rivers in millions of years, friends? So, this was the logic given by Mr. Hutton. He said that weathering and erosion is going on. So, mountains will also be weathered. Almost all the land masses will be weathered by time. By agents of denudation. The agents of denudation are wind, ice, water, glaciers, mass movements. So, obviously, if this denudation agents are at play, weathering is happening, eroding things is happening, the things are being eroded. Okay. So, if everything is happening, then the orientation of earth would change okay friends so he said that whatever this biblical thought is saying this biblical thought is taking the reference as a small time period okay and if we are going to see the things which are happening now over a period of millions of years then big changes can be seen so by this hutton said hutton reasoned that whatever processes are happening to do it the same processes used to happening before or Whatever happened in the past, the same things are happening today only. And this is the theory of uniformitarianism. He said that if the sediments are being taken from the landmass and they are going to the sea, then there would be some method of bringing those sediments back to the landmass in order to maintain the geology of the earth as it is now. This was the reason given by Mr. Hutton. Now coming back to the definition. Uniformitarianism in geology the doctrine suggesting that Earth's geologic process acted in the same manner and with essentially the same intensity in the past as they do in the present and that such uniformity is sufficient to account for all geological change. That is, whatever processes were happening in the past, the, those processes are happening in the same manner and with the same intensity in the present also. And this is said as uniformitarianism. Mr. Hutton said that if the things are getting eroded, and if they are going to the sea as sediments, then there would have been some way of bringing those sediments back to the landmark. And this is known as the process of recycling, friends. Okay. So, this is said. Hutton argued that in order for uniformitarianism to work over very long period of time, earth materials have to be constantly recycled, friends. Okay. And biblical interpretation said that... The landscape has been created in the past and no changes are happening now. There are no processes happening now, but that was wrong. Hutton said that if the recycling is not done, mountains will erode, continents will decay, sediments will be transported to the sea and eventually the surface of the earth will be perfectly flat and covered with a thin layer of water. So if the agents of denudation are at work, things are happening. So slowly, 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 if there is no process happening on the earth's surface, then all of these sediments will go inside the sea and the complete land mass will decay. And we will be left with a perfectly flat earth with a very thin layer of water. So this was the reason, friends, that this theory of recycling, which was given by Mr. James Hutton, this was completely different from the prevailing notion that the earth is not changing, friends. By this logic, Hutton said that whatever processes were happening in the past, those processes are happening now also. Okay, it is not that that some catastrophic events happened at that point of time 
and the earth formed and now no events are happening whatever happened at that point of time the same thing is happening now also friends and this is the logic he said that if the sediments were only going to the sea then obviously the whole continental mass will erode he said if the sediments are going to the sea there must be some way to bring back those sediments to the land mass in order to maintain the uniformity of earth over this much long period of time this was the reason given by james hutton and that is why he tried to bring in our rock cycle friends but however his rock cycle was refined further by further scientists because rock cycle given by mr james hutton was not perfect there were some problems in it which were rectified afterwards and when this theory of uniformitarianism came in friends this was in complete contrast with the theory of catastrophism so for some point some time the debate between catastrophism and uniformitarianism was at play but after some time people started believing that whatever mr james hutton is saying is actually true and the theory of uniformitarianism is actually correct and catastrophism is actually not that correct so this debate of uniformitarianism versus catastrophism slowly slowly ended and people started to agree this theory of uniformitarianism and this became the basis of the study of geology friends this was a bedrock of the study of geology okay now the rock cycle that was given by mr james hutton that i will also tell you in the subsequent video when i will make a video with respect to rock cycle and then after some time you know much uh, rectifications were done to the rock cycle which was being propounded by mr hutton so all of those things will be discussed by me in my subsequent video so i hope this video of uniformitarianism was helpful for you friends if it was helpful for you friends kindly subscribe to my channel like this video please share this video with more and more with your friends who are in need of such type of videos friends also you can through your comments you can tell me how you like this video you can also you know actually if you have any doubts you can also clarify them so thank you for watching this video friends thank you for giving your time thank you for your patience have a great day and don't stop studying keep studying continuously